So I thought he was going to ask me to play, and I didn't have anything prepared, so that's probably good. Uh, but my name is Chris Jones. This is my business partner, Jack Martin. I'm here for moral support. Yeah. He's here to, to, to pat me on the back and, and lift me up. But, um, <laughs> so for us, you know, water water touches us in a lot of ways. Number one, we're in the water utilities facility that Von Osta built back in the early 1900s. So we kind of started with water. Um, anybody who drinks beer knows that beer is 98% water. And uh, without clean water, you don't have good taste in beer. So uh, water is, is a huge part of what we do. We're in a, in a original water utilities facility. We use Valasta City water. And uh, when I tell people that, especially in the beer community, sometimes they kind of kind of step back a minute. But we have really great water that we use and we put in the beer. The only thing we do to the water that we brew with, so if you're drinking a Georgia Beer Company beer right now, that came out of Valasta City water. That's tap water from Valasta. And we send it through a charcoal filter that has um, pecan and coconut holes down to a carbon level, basically, and that strips out the chlorine because chlorine in beer doesn't really taste very good. But, uh, but that's all we do. We strip out the chlorine. Now we monitor the pH. Um, we had the capabilities to kind of reverse osmosis the water and then build it back up where we wanted to. And we, we chose not to do that because just like Guinness from Ireland, it tastes like Guinness from Ireland because they're using water from that brewery, uh, from, from that part of the country and that part of the world. And so we wanted our beer to be synonymous with Valdosta and we use Valdosta City water. Um, and so clean water is extremely important to us, but also beer and water is, I mean, you know, people say wings and beer, pizza and beer. Uh, tacos and beer, you know, whatever, those things go hand in hand, but activities on and in the water and beer really go hand in hand, especially when they're enjoyed responsibly. Now, I've, I've been in the Coast Guard Reserve for 18 years, and I've seen plenty of opportunities where beer wasn't used responsibly <laughs> on and in the water, um, but, but we definitely promote responsible drinking on and in the water, whether you're in a, in a kayak or a canoe or a powerboat or uh, you're floating in your pool. I mean, water and beer are great partners. And uh, for that for that purpose, we're happy to be the, the sponsor for two years in a row and looking forward to next year. And uh, we definitely appreciate everybody's patience with the weather and um, kind of having to make some last minute changes, but everything's a frame of mind. So if we're going to have it in our mindset that we're going to have a good time tonight, we're going to have a good time tonight. Are you guys ready to have a good time tonight? Woo! There I spent some time on the water too. Uh, when he was in VSU working on, why don't you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, well, the, being on the rivers and, and the water and protecting and, and co uh, having con uh, conservation efforts to protect our waterways is really important to both of us personally because we enjoy those waterways, um, not only for uh, fun purposes, but also for educational purposes. Uh, during my time at VSU, I majored in biology, and uh, there were several classes. Um, for one of my favorite professors, Dr. David Beckler. Uh, he was an ichthyologist, which is the study of fishes. And I always tried to take his classes because we would always go to one of the rivers around here and uh, as part of our lab, uh, our laboratory, we would uh, survey the river. And that was the funnest part because you got to get in the river and you got to use big seine nets and you got to see what you could catch. And so it's, it's very important to us on a personal level too as far as education is concerned. Um, that's really all I got. That, that, that's that's the link that I have with uh, you know education and, and school and the rivers. do presentations or I could travel the states with some utility stiff or I could take Chris Jones with me to talk about the, the city of Elasta Water. I'm going to do, get ready to travel.